Hello and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says If E, F, G, H are respectively the midpoints of sides of a parallelogram A, B, C, D show that area of E, F, G, H is equal to half area of A, B, C, D. So first let us learn a simple result which says if a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel lines Then, area of triangle is equal to half the area of parallelogram. So, let us prove this result. Suppose this is a parallelogram and we have a triangle on the same base and between the same parallel lines. Suppose ABCD is the parallelogram and on the base DC a triangle stands which touches the line AB at a point E. So the triangle and the parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallel lines A, B and C, D. Now let us prove that area of triangle is half the area of parallelogram. Now area of triangle as we know is half of base into height and here the triangle is D, E, C which is equal to half base is D, C and let the perpendicular distance between the two parallel lines be denoted by H. So this is the area of triangle half of base into height. Now this is equal to half of area of parallelogram ABCD. Since area of a parallelogram is the product of base into the corresponding altitude. So this is the required result which shows that area of triangle is equal to half area of parallelogram. So with the help of this result we are going to prove the above question, so this is our key idea. Let us now interpret the given question in the form of a figure. And the figure will look like this. Where E, F, G and H are respectively the midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D and D, I, which are the sides of the parallelogram. So, we are given a parallelogram ABCD in which E, F, G and H are midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A respectively. And we have to show that area of E, F, G, H is equal to half area of A, B, C, D. Now in quadrilateral, 
H D C F H D is equal to half of A D since H is midpoint of A D. So this implies A H is equal to H D is equal to half of A D. This is further equal to half of B C since opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So A D is equal to B C and half of B C is further equal to F C since again F is midpoint of side B C. So this implies that H D is equal to F C. Also H D is parallel to F C since A D is parallel to B C. That is opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So this implies a part of this line is also parallel to a part of this line. Therefore we have H D parallel to F C. This implies that quadrilateral H D C F is a parallelogram. Since in a quadrilateral if a pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram. Therefore in this quadrilateral we have a pair HD and HC which is equal also and parallel also therefore it is a parallelogram. Now in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel. So this implies HF is parallel to DC. So let this be equation number 1. Now from the figure as we can see the triangle HGF and the parallelogram HDCF are on the same base HF and between the same parallel lines HF and DC. So this implies area of triangle HGF is half area of parallelogram HDCF by our key idea. That is area of triangle HGF is equal to half area of Parallelogram H D C F and let this be equation number 2. Now AB is parallel to DC since opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and equal. Also from 1 we have HF parallel to DC. So this implies two lines which are parallel to the same given line are parallel to each other. So this implies HF is parallel to AB. Now applying the same key idea on the triangle EHF and the parallelogram AHFB which are on the same base HF and between the same parallel lines AB and HF we can write area of triangle HEF is equal to half into area of parallelogram A B F H and let this be equation number 3. Now from equation 2 and 3 on adding them We have on the left hand side area of triangle HGF plus triangle HEF and on the right hand side we have half area of parallelogram HDCF plus half area of parallelogram A, B, F, H. Now area of H, G, F plus H, E, F which are these two triangles 
is nothing but area of parallelogram EFGH. Fine. So this is area of parallelogram EFGH. And on the right hand side we have half. Any common. And area of parallelogram HDCF which is this parallelogram and area of parallelogram AB FH is the above one and the sum of both these parallelograms is the whole of ABCD which is the given parallelogram. So this is equal to half area of A, B, C, D. And thus we have area of E, F, G, H equal to half area of A, B, C, D. So, this completes the session. Take care and have a good day.